Welcome to Leading Through Health System Change, a project of the Georgia Health Policy Center, the National Network of Public Health Institutes, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. This video will lead you through the general planning tool and highlight the maternal and child health module, created in partnership with the National MCH Workforce Development Center. The planning tool, along with the MCH module, is available as a free resource online at acaplanningtool.com. The changes inherent in the Affordable Care Act have extensive implications for all aspects of the U.S. health system, financing, service delivery, public health, coverage and access, quality, and ultimately, well-being. During this critical period of health system transformation, public health has the opportunity to address both technical and adaptive challenges, think systemically, and begin to lay the groundwork for strategic action and innovation. The changes facing your organization are complex, and therefore, so are future options. At the core of this webinar is an introduction to an interactive tutorial and planning tool designed to assist you, public health leaders, in learning how to apply adaptive thinking skills to the legal, administrative, and financial health reform challenges facing your organization. Through the information and exercises, you will learn valuable techniques to plan for the future of public health. Public health leaders within the maternal and child health field will find opportunities from the expanded health care coverage. Wellness and prevention services and research will be expanded to focus on physical activity, nutrition, emotional wellness, smoking cessation, and other chronic disease priorities. Public and private insurers are required to provide preventive and wellness services. State and local agencies are given opportunities to apply for federal funds to implement programs and create healthier communities. Health reform presents many opportunities for public health, but to take full advantage of these opportunities, state, local, and community leaders must be able to navigate through unchartered territory and be willing to deviate from their plans as learning takes place. In other words, they must look at health reform through an adaptive lens. Leaders in the field of management consulting write extensively about the difference between technical and adaptive challenges. While their teachings have not previously been used in the context of health reform, this planning tool employs their theory on adaptive leadership to provide a framework of the role public health officials must take in this environment. Technical challenges, while not simple, are solvable. Through research and practice, effective approaches have been designed and adopted even if they require intense skill and expertise. Adaptive challenges, on the other hand, are quite different. They are often being seen for the first time. There is no expert, no one with the answer. Solutions require both experimentation and innovation. This table has examples of technical and adaptive challenges. Health reform presents both types of challenges for public health leaders. Some are routine and technical, while others are adaptive and require planning, such as building partnerships, gathering information, and building capacity. In the book, When Leadership Spells Danger, the authors pose that, a challenge for adaptive leadership is to engage people in distinguishing what is essential to preserve from their organization's heritage from what is expendable. Successful adaptations are thus both conservative and progressive. They make the best possible use of previous wisdom and know-how. The most effective leadership anchors change in the values competencies, and strategic orientations that should endure in this organization. Public health leadership requires a diagnostic capacity that identifies the forces at play that constantly shape health reform. These include legal, administrative, and financial, among others. The Affordable Care Act presents dozens of adaptive challenges for public health leaders and practitioners. By their very nature, these challenges have no ready answer or response. Public health practitioners must learn as they go making sense of what is happening as it unfolds and adjusting accordingly. In the fall of 2010, Georgia Health Policy Center researchers conducted 15 health reform strategic assessments with public health departments, state department staff, community-based organizations, large and small provider practices, and large and small employers. Eight strategic actions emerged from the work and can be applied here to help you think about a number of adaptive health reform challenges. The Maternal and Child Health Module was created in partnership with the National Maternal and Child Health Workforce Development Center. This guided practice was designed to assist state and territorial Title V agencies as they plan and implement health programs in an environment of health system transformation, but can be used by any organization or agency at no cost. 
The following tutorial will lead you through this topic-specific module focused on the maternal and child health provisions in the law. Once you register online at acaplanningtool.com, you will have free access to the online portal, PDF workbook, and videos and modules to assist you in using the tool. You and your team members can save your work and revisit anytime. The Leading Through Health System Change Planning Tool is a roadmap for public health practitioners to navigate the technical and adaptive challenges of the ACA. It is intended to heighten your learning capacity and leadership skills in relation to health reform and health system transformation. Central to this tool are two key components. The first component is a five-step planning process. The steps in this process are fundamental to helping your team focus on the actions that lead to innovation and strategic thinking. The second key component is understanding technical and adaptive challenges. As we mentioned before, technical challenges, while not simple, are solvable. Adaptive challenges are quite different. There is no expert, no one with the answer. Learning to use the five-step planning process and an adaptive problem-solving approach, we believe, are important to responding to this opportunity for change. The tutorial and planning tool available to you is designed using a guided practice approach. Rather than just provide the tool and instructions, you will be guided through examples where much of the background work has been provided for you. But your team will still have to do the analysis and strategic thinking to arrive at a solution. The goal of this approach is to make the planning tool more real world and contextual. You will practice using adaptive thinking by working through an example question related to health reform. This example was drawn from peer-reviewed literature, national white papers, and expert reviews. After working through the example question, you should be able to apply a series of five steps to any question you may have that does not have a ready-made solution. In step one of the process, you define your question. In the MCH module, the question has already been defined. How can Title V professionals identify and monitor improvements to maternal and child health outcomes resulting from health system transformation? Step two involves learning about the requirements of the Affordable Care Act related to your question. Gathering information from the law is one place to start. You may want to collect additional state and local information. In this online tutorial, the information has been collected for you and the MCH provisions are organized into three broad categories. Insurance access, coverage of preventive health services, and care coordination and community benefit. Step three requires decision making. When you think about your question, how might you make it more adaptive in nature? You might reframe the question to ask, how can Title V professionals broker improvements for the well-being of mothers and children, including those with special needs? Now consider the possible ways you might answer the question. Which option will lead you to the desired outcomes? For this tutorial and planning tool, four options are identified. You and your team will choose one to work through. Option one, continue to provide direct health care services to women and children, including children with special health care needs. Option two, work across agency boundaries to provide access to enabling services. Option three, facilitate efficient and effective provision of integrated population-based services. Option four, take or assume a leadership role in building and developing supportive infrastructure for systems serving mothers and children. Step three is where we really begin to explore the conceptual framework for the services of the Title V Maternal and Child Health Block Grant. This is envisioned as a pyramid with four tiers of services and levels of funding that provide comprehensive services for mothers and children. The pyramid also displays the uniqueness of the MCH Block Grant, which is the only federal program that consistently provides services at all levels of the pyramid. Step four is where thinking about adaptive challenges comes into play. Based on the option you've chosen, you'll be tasked to think through the actions needed to arrive at solutions that introduce innovation and experimentation. As mentioned, the ACA presents dozens of adaptive challenges for public health leaders and practitioners. By their very nature, these challenges have no ready answer or response. Public health practitioners must learn as they go, making sense of what is happening as it unfolds and adjusting accordingly. The planning tool describes eight adaptive actions you can apply to the answer option you choose. Some might be very relevant to your work and others may not. The eight adaptive actions are influencing decisions, educating others, planning under uncertainty, staying abreast of new information, creating new partnerships, building workforce capacity, building information technology, 
building care coordination capacity. Step five starts to transform ideas into reality with the building of the key elements of an implementation plan. This step will help you think about a concrete way to move forward related to staffing, budgeting and funding, and developing a management plan in the context of how you choose to answer your question. Let's talk about staffing. The staff responsible for program implementation and the partners who provide program guidance are key factors in the ultimate success or failure of a new venture. In planning for implementation, it is important to determine the most effective structure for program continuation. Now, moving on to budget and funding strategy. Having a clear idea of the cost of sustaining your activities is an essential part of the implementation planning process. You may want to project your costs for a minimum of three years so you get a complete picture of the total cost of the activity, including one-time cash expenditures, ongoing operational expenses, etc. Developing a line item budget for each activity is necessary for determining your funding strategy. Finally, your management plan. How you manage new activities and the staff and partners who will undertake them is an important part of your simple implementation plan. Questions to be in thinking about the development of your management plan are included in the MCH planning tool module. This five-step process can be used with any challenging question for which there may not be a ready solution, not just questions about health reform. The process takes time, but it can lead to a higher level of thinking than merely reaching for the easier technical solution. Remember our question. How can Title V professionals broker improvements for the well-being of mothers and children, including those with special needs? Additional information can be found within the MCH Planning Tool Workbook found at acaplanningtool.com. Once you have fully completed one of the guided practices in the Tutorial and Planning Tool, you can repeat the exercise with another of the provided guided practices. Then take the process and apply it to your own planning efforts. Through this process, we hope to provide you with a new conceptual framework for leading, as well as navigating and leveraging, multiple aspects of health system change to improve population health. We want to thank you for viewing this webinar and applaud you for the important work you do to support improved public health. Please remember to go to acaplanningtool.com to access the MCH Planning Tool module and other important resources.